Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Cheryl Nelson, thank you so much for joining me to talk about National Preparedness Month. I want my audience to know that, you know, Cheryl's here to give us some great information. Uh, she's an instructor and a meteorologist for FEMA, National Disaster Preparedness Training Center. So this is authentic information. So you guys hang on so we can get some more info. Cheryl, let me, let's get started. Why is it important and more than ever to recognize National Preparedness Month? I've been studying natural disasters for nearly two decades now, and extreme weather events are on the rise. I mean, look what's happening in the Atlantic with hurricane season so far this year. And so you gotta make sure you have your disaster preparedness kit at home, in your vehicle, and because it's 2020, make sure you have that mask and hand sanitizer too. Okay, uh, before we go a little further, where do we get information on making a preparedness kit? I keep a suitcase and a kit in the, in the garage, I'm telling you. <laughs> But I come from a military family background, so that that it, it's oh, it drives my husband crazy. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's good though. Better be safe than sorry. On my website, preparewithshare.com, I have all the info that you need to make a disaster preparedness kit. And one thing you actually might want to consider having is a portable generator because it's convenient and possibly a life-saving tool for you and your family. But you got to remember, if you don't use it properly, there are risks. So to prepare for hurricane season and help keep your family safe, always take your portable generator outside. The Portable Generator Manufacturers Association has important safety tips to ensure proper use. So to avoid dangers of the invisible, odorless carbon monoxide buildup, take it outside, which means never running a generator indoors, in a garage, basement, crawl space, shed, or other partially enclosed space. TakeYourGeneratorOutside.com has more safety information. When these extreme emergencies come along like Hurricane Laura did this weekend and many, many more before that, and we're told to evacuate, what do we need to do? Yeah, great question there. So always listen to your officials. Heed those warnings. I mean, if they're telling you mandatory get out, then you want to do that with plenty of time. Um, if you're going to stay, you got to have that disaster kit that we talked about. And one item that I think is a necessity is having a good working flashlight. I recommend the Maglight ML300L 40 cell LED because it offers more than two weeks of continuous light on one set of batteries in eco mode. According to Popular Mechanics Magazine, it's the last flashlight you'll ever need to buy. It's manufactured in America, gives the right amount of light for any situation, and offers legendary durability. And with flashlights, of course, comes batteries. It's crucial that you have plenty of those as well. And Batteries Plus Bulbs has everything you need to keep you and your family and business powered up during severe weather and disasters. They have backup power units, lanterns, generators, alkaline batteries, also jump packs, sump pump batteries, and generator batteries. It's important to have uninterruptible power supplies and surge projectors to protect your data and keep you connected during a power outage. These are things that we should be prepared for, and that's why you're here talking about being prepared. Let's talk a little bit of personal. What about people with medications that they need to take with them? How do they prepare for that? Yeah, you gotta make sure you have at least a two week supply of those prescription medications. Always have them ready to go if you have to evacuate and keep them in a safe place as well. And speaking of being safe, how about flood insurance? You gotta think about that and say, hmm, do I have that? Am I covered? Well, you can find out. The National Association of Insurance Commissioners wants to remind you that a typical homeowner's insurance policy does not cover floods. You need flood insurance for that. And flood insurance is available through NFIP or private insurance companies. Now, regarding your vehicle, comprehensive auto insurance does cover your car for floods and tornadoes, as well as theft, fires, and animal accidents, but it's optional. So you wanna check your policy, see if you're covered, visit naic.org for more on that. And for everything we talked about today, visit tipsontv.com. Thank you so very much, Cheryl. I got one question I wanna take from, where's that, Instagram? They wanna know when you are ordered to evacuate, is there a vehicle that is best to use if you have the choice? Yeah, I mean, great question. I would recommend probably something that's a little higher off the ground if you're expecting floods. So if you have an SUV, I'd recommend that. Um, but sometimes you don't have a choice. But if you leave and heed those warnings early enough, then you should be good. Cheryl, this has been great, especially during uh, Texas tornado weather and all the weather we're seeing across the nation. Thank you so much for being so informed and informing the Valder Baby Show audience. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.
my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Bounder BB, host of the Bounder BB Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Bounder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Bounder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>